Okay guys, this is Puzzle and Dragons from Gung Ho Entertainment, a Japanese game developer slash publisher. Um, very successful game in Japan. Uh, you know, small following outside Japan, but uh, hopefully it'll get bigger in the future. Very, you know, pretty high quality game, I think. Very well made. Uh, very profitable for sure. It just surpassed 10 million downloads, and I'm going to play a, a quick round here. One of the lower levels, just to give you an idea of how it works. Now you have to choose one of these uh, other monsters for your team. I have five monsters and I choose another sort of helper monster to join my team. I'm going to choose a blue one. Most of my monsters are blue. Uh, so I want to match up these blue orbs and then I can attack. So whichever orbs you match up, that's the color of the monster that attacks. So if I match yellow, nobody attacks. Now what's interesting with these orbs, the movement, initially I didn't really understand how you could move them, but you can move them anywhere, not just one over or whatever. It's it's very uh, very interesting. So I'm gonna see if I can maybe do a, a combo. Yeah, so if you do combos your points multiply and your attack is much stronger. So I'm moving on through what's called the dungeon and you have a series of monsters to beat. When you match up these pink orbs, your your health recovers, and that's that's really handy. I'm going to turn off the sound here real quick. Um, so yeah, so it's it's a really interesting game. It, it sort of uh, makes you think ahead to where the next combo is. If you just make one match it doesn't really get you anything so you have to actually look past to the next combo and to the next combo sometimes four or five moves ahead and it's it's in a way it's it's kind of like chess but a, a really strange Japanese version of chess um, so I'm, I'm facing the boss now and I don't have any I don't have enough blue orbs to match but uh, maybe I can try with some green ones I got lucky there. A little bit. So sometimes you'll notice that your monsters are flashing. They have special abilities that you can use as well. Now, if I were to die right now uh, at this at this stage in the game, I would have the option to continue by paying one magic stone. Now, if I don't have a magic stone, I can actually buy one for you know, I'm in Japan, so it's 85 yen. Um, and that's, I think, where where they make a lot of their money. It's sort of the arcade model. You know, do you want to continue insert coin? And you'll see here, I, I'm going to earn monsters. If I didn't continue, I would lose those monsters. So that's that's one of the one of the ingenious ways that this makes money. Now you can also you can evolve or power up uh, your monsters. I'm going to power up this blue one a little bit just to show you what happens. Now I'm currently, uh, what level is this guy? He's at level 9. So once I level up, oh, maximum level reached. Now that I've leveled up to a maximum level, I can evolve this monster. But I need more evolution material, so I can't evolve him yet. But you get the idea. So you have power ups evolutions. But anyway, give it a try. Really fun game. Uh, let me know what you think and hit us up in the comments.